Hello, welcome to Cooking with Gina. My name is Gina Virginia Casella. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Gina Virginia Casella. And I'd love for you to join my Facebook group, Present Moment Alchemy. So what's cooking today with cooking with Gina? I don't really know. Every day I feel like I need to channel my MacGyver energy <laughs> and figure things out. I like to be creative in the kitchen. So um, in this moment, I'm thinking maybe I'll make some kind of uh, cream of corn soup. I really don't know. Um, I thought this was whole kernel corn, but it's uh, cream style corn, um, which I haven't had in a while. And I thought maybe I'll make a soup out of it. Um, I don't know. I could change my mind, but the, that's the intention right now. Um, this is Green Giant brand. And I also got an onion. I haven't made anything with fresh onions in a while, so I'm looking forward to it. I also have some hummus. It's roasted garlic. And I think I'm going to enjoy this on the side. Maybe I'll put a blob of it in the soup. Don't know, don't care. Don't really know what I'm doing. Just doing, foraging my ways in the kitchen maybe a little bit of all of the above. And this is President's Choice brand. I really enjoy the roasted garlic. How about you? Let me know in the comments. I also found some celery sticks. I've got some dark red kidney beans and I'm just cooking for one. So I may or may not put these in the soup. I may or may not squash these into a spread mixed with the hummus is what I'm thinking. And then I could um, spread it on a slice of, whoop, um, it's a pumpernickel of rye. Uh, it says pumpernickel bread. I'm not sure clearly if it's um, pumpernickel bread and rye bread, like a two in one, um, but it's by rub, Rub Schalliger, doing my personal best. I'm not being endorsed by these companies. If any of these companies want to endorse me, please do. And as far as I know, everything I'm using is vegan. If there's something I'm using that isn't vegan, please kindly let me know in the comments and let me know something that I could substitute with it. I'm a newbie at being vegan. I also thought um, these sweetened flaked coconuts, they're no name brand. I could toast these up and top up my soup with them. And uh, given the harvest season, I also thought maybe I would put some roasted pumpkins on top. Uh, these are from Loblaws, the local grocery store. And I'm still making my way through these Tostitos. <laughs> making my way through the rounds of the rounds. These are really nice and salty. I think I'm gonna enjoy dipping them in my soup or whatever creation I make. I just know that whatever I make, it's gonna be good. And uh, I've gotta be certain of my uncertainty. And I'm wondering if you can relate. Oh, and uh, I wanted to show you one more thing. If you're wondering what I'm drinking, It's super good. It's by a Celestial Seasoning name brand, and this is their blueberry. They've got a four pack that I like to buy, and uh, this is one of the flavors in the four pack. And I am still haven't uh, found my juice jug, if you will, but I'm still using this um, glass jar from the pasta sauce that I used the other day, and it's working out. You know, uh, it's a nice jar. It's about a liter, I guess. And I just keep it up by my bed. I put one tea bag in it. And uh, I'm just having fun um, feeling in my groove again. Rosie and I experiencing a lot of transitions. We are committed to getting that condo by the beach. <laughs> and um, this morning I was chipping away again at Dragon Dreams book five. I probably added at least another 100 pages. I keep getting these downloads from the cosmic custodian who has informed me that we're calling him the grim reaper and other cosmic custodians um they're having conversations with him and they're they find it interesting that 
that we call him the Grim Reaper uh, because they're not so grim. <laughs> um, and he's saying that he doesn't mean to be so grim either. There's just a lot of fuckery going around. And so all this stuff that I'm writing, I really can't wait to publish it just to see what folks have to say about it. And I know it's going to bring us closer together because we're one and not one person can figure all of this crap out, but we're one. And um, I feel really inspired and I also feel really tired. You know, when you get caught up into timelessness, hours go by. So Rosie and I, we wake up at about five o'clock in the morning and um, we have like our little hour where we listen to music and I brush her and I do some movement. But then I basically um, get busy with my movement. But even that routine has been lacking because when you hear the call, if you will, you need to respond to it. So I've been responding to the call every day now for like, I don't even know, like four or five days. And um, like before I know it, my alarm goes off and it's time to do cooking with Gina. And I just kind of like throw my hair together and whatnot. And after I do cooking with Gina, I basically uh, take a shower and I start to digest and I intentionally don't look at the Dragon Dream series. So I intentionally don't get caught up in timelessness because this biological one needs to rest and spirit can't do its work unless the biological one is okay. And so cooking with Gina, it brings me a lot of joy. It's really important to me because it helps me find balance. And I'm wondering if you can relate and um, please let me know in the comments. And I forgot to mention too, I'm gonna be using some of the vegan Earth Balance butter. I really like it. Today I was at the grocery store and I bought another one just so I have it ready in my uh, fridge. And um, I was wondering if anybody's ever frozen this before. Can you freeze it? Does it freeze well? Let me know in the comments. We also got the new fridge. Ooh, and we also got the new stove. Ah, and uh, you know, I'm I only had the luxury of working with the other stove uh, for about a week, and I feel like I was really connecting with it. You know, we connect with our tools. I'm wondering if you can relate. Uh, so I'm looking forward to developing an appreciation for this stove and the new fridge, and it just makes me think about like things like artificial intelligence and things that are, um, you know, sentient beings, non-sentient beings, things that are inanimate, just like a rock or the very walls. And I have a belief, and it is my belief, that everything has consciousness. Uh, so it could be in a state of slumber, but at some point, everything wakes up, if you will. Everything awakens. That's part of our alchemy. I don't really understand it. And that's part of what I've let go of is just let go of understanding it. <laughs> leave it to the academics, leave it to the philosophers and folks like me just really enjoy fucking around with the thinking. I love thinking. I love thinking about thinking. And I wonder about you. Let me know in the comments. So what am I doing? I think I'm making a soup and some kind of bean spread. So I'm going to get a pot and... Um, possibly a frying pan. We'll see. So I went with the wok, which I don't think I've ever used a wok so much in my life as I have been lately, but I like it. I really like just the liberty of stirring it around. I like to see all the colors. And so the first thing I'm going to do is chop up my onion and uh, get my corn in here. And um, I might only uh, chop up half the onion, but I think what I might do is um, put the corn in the wok first, add some water and butter to it, and then add the onion. Um, if I was making a broth, I would definitely want to fry up the onion with some oil or butter and then add stuff to it. But I feel like I just want to appreciate the onion for it is as a vegetable and um, let the corn soak up that flavor. Either or would be fine. I'm wondering, what do you do? Um, let me know in the comments. I really would love to hear it. I almost forgot to turn the camera back on. So um, I got my cream of corn in the wok. It's nice and thick. I think this would be really nice um, side dish for potatoes or something like that. 
it's hard not to start dreaming and get carried away. I also, I'm going to add a cup of water or uh, a can of water, I should say. Why? Because I intentionally want this to boil um, and I wanna make sure that the corn isn't going to burn on me. I'm also gonna add some celery in here just to give it some flavor. And I'm getting really excited about my soup. And I haven't turned this on yet, but I'm going to run outside and grab some of those hot peppers.